Now in part B, we're given that the matrix C is minus 1, 0, 0, 1 and asked to say what kind of transformation it represents. Now you can either learn these or um, just try and remember them but uh, I often find the difficulty trying to remember these so I just always construct a little diagram that looks at the unit base vectors and from that I can always work out what a matrix represents as far as the transformation goes and so what I do is I draw essentially X and Y axis I start with the unit base vector in the X direction 1 0 and also mark in one in the y direction that's going to be 0 1 and then look at where these two vectors starting with the x1 here where they go to when we do this matrix well this one apparently goes to minus 1 0 so I'll draw it in here minus 1 0 and the green one 0 1 well that ends up still at 0, 1. So I'm looking at this diagram going to this one and what's happened? Well I can see that it represents a reflection in the y-axis. This one swapped over to that side and that one stays invariant. So that tells me that C then represents, let's say C is a reflection in the y-axis. Alright?